Burp, burp. It is a very timely, uh, very timely uh, occasion because I just uh, managed to render up all the uh, tidbits from uh, the chapter chapter ten reading earlier, so I have cleared up some space in the hard drive. And now onward. Onward. <laughs> <laughs> How far down am I reading with this? Mm. Play it by the ear. Like when it... You, you could read the whole scene up until here, or you could pause if you feel like there's something to discuss. Okay, I think that's probably best. <laughs> Alright, so we are in chapter 12 mm -hmm. of Seeker. And we are going to do some reading. Solitaire was slowly hovering through the station's airlocks. Jewel busied herself with the controls, despite the fully automated exit protocols. Behind her, she could hear Fortune shuffling about, unable to place himself. She rose and laid her jacket down in the corner. Better sit for a little while. I need to accelerate. He complied without a word, and Jewel returned to her seat. The sense of another person awake in there felt strange. The smells and sounds that didn't belong to her. The responsibility she'd never f never felt for any of her contracts. Managing the controls allowed her to postpone all the awkward conversations for a little longer. Once they were on a steady course towards the... Uh, 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 yeah. ...place, <laughs> Jewel set thrusters on standby, took a deep breath and turned to address Fortune. I think I think cut it or not cut it, but we'll stop there for now. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah. So as <laughs> as you could see, I have marked uh, a few little issues here. So first off, I want to streamline the first sentence a little bit. It seems it feels slow. Yeah. Um, I. And I I will probably want to merge the first and second sentence into something more sort of like dynamic. And another thing is that I tend to overuse hovering hovering through airlock thing. So I, I know it's it's ten I tend to repeat that, so I need to get rid of that. I'm just gonna throw this out here. Feel mm -hmm. free to disregard, but maybe it's something like uh uh, uh dual <laughs> this is really crap. Jewel busied herself with the controls as Solitaire drifted through the... Uh, maybe. Yeah, that's the, that's that's sort of uh, what I'm thinking about putting there as well, so... I think the main thing to hmm, sort of telegraph here is we want to get rid of slowly, definitely, mm -hmm. because that is one of my bad writing faults, is that... <laughs> Oh, I want this scene to, you know, I want the pace of this scene to slow down. So if I th throw like slowly and cautiously and stuff like that in there, it's like, ooh, we're, we're taking the tempo down. It doesn't work. Not an effective way of doing it. Yeah. And, uh, and the I want to get rid of the system's edge mm -hmm. because, uh, so world building thing. Mm, we have established that exiting transit uh, means a release of a catastrophic release of energy. Mm -hmm. uh, so, what's happening? Uh, and uh, and for that, uh, we need a lot of buffer space. But but uh, depending on a given situation, I wouldn't even place the exit wheel fields at the system's edge all the time. Like for example. Uh, in our solar system's example, like after Saturn, there's an ass load of pretty empty space. So, mm -hmm. so for example, if you're a if you're a tiny tiny ass uh, shuttle, who only uh, causes a little catastrophe and doesn't like I don't know produce a black hole or anything uh, in in their wake, then uh, there's no need to. Uh, to introduce all that extra travel time, so it's, I would guess that some I don't know big freighter ships like big as the <laughs> space equivalent of container uh, ships <laughs> would have to take 
like uh, have to take it slower and and longer mm. and have to materialize farther and and etc but for these little ones uh, I think uh, I'm gonna fudge fudge and relax stuff a little bit mm. this does the idea that the quote unquote container freighters or container chips mm -hmm. uh, that they use different methods. I don't want to say different routes, but different methods, or they have to go to different locations. Um, they, that... they have to adhere to different uh, safety protocol, mm. what it, uh, is what I would say it boils down to. That plays into a short story idea that I was knocking around. You know when we were throwing the idea around of like, uh, like you know, Space Janitor? or mm -hmm. the guy who deals with the trash. Well, mm -hmm. one of them was like the space truck driver. So mm -hmm. I have given some thought to this, but mm -hmm. it, it needs more of this star world building to properly mm -hmm. flesh it out. Yeah, but uh, all that said, uh, since uh, entering transit actually gobbles up energy, it doesn't uh, doesn't cause a burst, but it, it causes, I don't know, like a little crack or like if you're if you're near something hot, then it uh, then it maybe consumes that uh, that heat or whatever. The, the physics is very fuzzy. <laughs> it is <all> completely <laughs> made up. <laughs> don't don't try to criticize it based on realism. But mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, basically, uh, since since the assumption is that yes, uh, exiting transit or terminating transit releases a an ass load of energy, but entering doesn't or initiating doesn't. So the uh, so the safe location to enter transit doesn't have to be that far away from anything living or, or important. So here I would just introduce some arbitrary dotted line, after which it's it's okay. And again, it would uh, it would differ uh, ship to ship basis, and it would differ based on. Uh, based on your mass and based on how uh, how powerful your your transit computer or whatever <laughs> mm. techno bubble techno bubble techno bubble <laughs> 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 but but basically the idea here is that they don't have to travel a whole lot they will only have to travel somewhat and and I need to word it in a sort of I need to gloss over it in in such a manner that it doesn't sort of become a snag in the reading. May the hand waves be elegant. <laughs> the um oh shit, what was I gonna say? The fact that you only need to get to a certain like you don't hmm. okay, yeah. So when you're entering transit that makes it more convenient for us as storytellers because mm -hmm. you sort of have to cover less time then yeah. and especially in my case I feel like I have to cover all the minutiae of that time and that's mm. that's one of the see when I was writing that other story uh, I told you about this when I was I was just like my characters just move from room to room to room to room yeah, like they've got yeah, ADHD yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to level that so I've, I've I recognise the fault <laughs> Okay, I am ready to advance. Yeah, go on. Hi. She made an effort to smile. You're safe now. He finally looked up. What do you want, Seeker? Uh, you're free! She pinched the earworm silent and switched over to Archaean business standard. After so much time away, the homeworld tongue rolled awkward on her lips. I am obliged to take you home. Your father sent me closed her eyes and swallowed. She had to force the words out. Ah, father. My name is Jewel Harper. Fortune kept staring at his thumbs, uncertain of any occasion appropriate words. Jewel sat down by his side. Hey, I know this is a lot... Is this some kind of ruse? I... Jewel opened her mouth and closed it again. Indeed, why would he believe her? She'd harboured enough doubts about the private contract herself. Had Raptor not taunted her in such a patronising manner, she might have questioned the circumstances more thoroughly. But if that were the case, they might not be sitting here together, safe. Jewel shuddered the thought away and scrambled to her feet to fetch the paper dossier from a 
console compartment. I don't know what I was doing with that last sentence. Foreshadowing! <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, I think I have I have already managed to do the edits here. Uh, what was the other other thing? Ah oh, yeah, the uh, from the first paragraph. Better sit uh, sit sit for a little while. I need to accelerate. Uh, uh, I need to tweak the. I need to accelerate part. Uh, a little bit because if we mm, if we accept the idea that uh, the that the ship or the shuttle operates like a torch ship as in it is capable of constantly accelerating then uh, uh, then it doesn't. Then then this uh, this sentence no longer makes any sense. It's not like she does a burn and then just floats on. Uh, she she can just carry on with it. So it's more like better sit for a little while. I need to do some navigating now or whatever. Anyway, the second thingy. I think it's okay because I I had already done the thing. Carry on. The main screen blinked dozens of seeker net notifications at her. Unclaimed contracts, team up calls, friendly pings, as if the immediate comms range wasn't busy enough. More and more data transit was rolling in from all over the system. She didn't have time for this. Not now. With two impatient taps, Jules set Solitaire to disregard all present and pending messages. She paused at the console, pondering if showing her bi her bio, uh, uh, bio bio data CV file. Which one am I going for? Uh, should be CV file. Uh, it's um, let's see, what did she show to Rainy? Yeah, CV file. Okay. With two impatient taps, Jules set Solitaire to disregard all present and pending messages. She paused at the console, wondering if showing her civvy file might aid her credibility, then decided against it. She would still be a stranger, making bold claims. The contract folder would make a more tangible... Oh, sorry, I've really fucked that up. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> the contract folder would make a more tangible argument. She also grabbed some quick consumables for them both and returned to Fortune. Here, she offered him the folder. You don't need to believe me, but at least read this. Sipping some rock juice, Jewel sat down and dropped Fortune's food chair by his side. His hand motions caught her curiosity. He'd propped the folder covers open against his knees and was picking up sheets from the right hand side, then flipped them over and stacked on the left. Jewel figured it made sense to handle page data like this, keeping everything contained and all. When a, with an approving nod, she returned to her drink. Okay, pause there. Yeah. So there are smaller vocabulary stuff here that I want to neaten up. A so couple of bugs in the code. Yeah. Mm, so I will probably remove uh, friendly pings and... Uh, and uh, replace them with something else. Although the the whole idea of of contact info being notified that there is a contact that that isn't completely unheard of because we did do it at the Trelasi port. But but yeah, I will think about it. Uh, so the contract folder would make a more tangible argument. Point one, I might make that a. Uh, Mm, an inner thought, although here the it seems to me that the perspective or point of view is a little bit more distant than uh, than in some places, but uh, I might uh, replace the word the contract folder might make a could make a more tangible ar argument or would be or I need to play play around with it a little bit. Mm -hmm. It feels static somehow. I don't know why. And
and as for his hand motions, caught her curiosity, I will probably cut that. Just describe what uh, what Fortune is doing, and uh, and then uh, Joel thinking that oh that kind of makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I really like that Sarge. Yeah, and which way do I have it right now? Picking up sheets from the right hand side. Okay, so right now I have set it up. I have I'm describing it uh, in the Western book. Uh, mm -hmm. logic way but I might actually switch it around I'm thinking I don't know I have to think about it <laughs> and I'm immediately reminded of uh, the Archer book uh, back cover blurb <laughs> <laughs> it's like, if you know what a book is, <laughs> then you shouldn't be reading this, <laughs> or something like this. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, but uh, the the reason why I'm considering of switching it around to picking, uh, picking sheets from the left side and turning them to the right side is that uh, their house seems to have certain... There, there seem to have certain, uh, there seem to be certain touches of Japanese culture, like uh, the way the garden is set up and 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 some some things. So I would think that the business world might have uh, retained or or taken over certain standards or certain certain practices and the uh, uh, and the. Uh, uh, <laughs> this this way opening books or or the memory of this way opening books might be one of them. Mm. So that's 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 my whole thought process behind the the question <laughs> switch. Mm -hmm. Okay, and in the next uh disregard my comment right here and I will say later what I what I mean. Okay. Fortune's expression had changed. Ah, uh, let me hang on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Fortune's expression had changed when he put the folder down. Daddy always had this taste for antique media. Jewel nearly spat out all of her essential minerals. The notion of Maxis as Daddy felt equal parts horrific and hilarious. She managed to catch her breath. So, you believe me now? That should rather be... So, you believe me now? Yes, considering... I mean, it makes sense, I suppose. Fortune tilted his head, almost smiling at her. Besides, you have his eyes. Okay. So, what I'm thinking of doing here is... After... Uh, after uh, Fortune has said, Daddy, Jewel <laughs> has the reaction... <laughs> Uh, spits out, almost spits out her drink, and then <laughs> just put daddy <laughs> and in as an inner thought, yeah. and and not say whether whether she finds it uh, horrific or hilarious. Just just leave it at that, and then she catches her breath and <laughs> and asks if he if he believes him, uh, her, and uh, and just sentence might be nudgy, might need some nudging there and uh, and as for fortune's uh, reaction uh, yeah I also want to uh, nudge the uh, wording there a little bit either either just leave it at tilting his head or 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 maybe raising a brow but not the almost smiling yeah <laughs> we we ca we might uh, get away with uh, a few almost this and that here and there, but I think we already have like two of them floating around. So we have <laughs> we have our overstayed our almost. <laughs> the I think there needs to be a beat there. Fortune tilted his head. Mm -hmm. Beat. Besides, mm -hmm. you have his eyes. I don't know. If Fortune tilted his head. Besides, you have his eye. No, I, I'm, mm, I'm. Yeah, not there, there needs much. to be some action there, uh, but, uh, but not this specifically. Yeah. 
Yeah. So basically, it is it is one of it is a creative task. <laughs> Carry on. Mm -hmm. And again, in the next one, uh, just uh, ignore what's under the marker right now. Oh, okay. Right, I had to read back a bit. Yeah. They nibbled at their jerky in silence. Fortune set the half-eaten pack aside and cleared his throat. So, this whole rescue affair. I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but why now? Jewel prodded the folder's leathery corner with her thumb. I've been wondering that too. Pardon me, pardon me. Jewel prodded the folder's leathery corner with her thumb. I've been wondering that too. It appears there wasn't enough info to track you down. Not until recently. Once your whereabouts became known, she made a flight motion and whistled. That means... Fortune was fighting back tears and losing. Means they never stopped looking. They? My parents, he sniffled. Sorry, our parents. For the first time, his soft voice carried a note of excitement. Are they well? Jules' mind was rushing between platitudes, lies and brutal reveals. She calmed her breathing and carefully weighed her words. I wouldn't know for certain. I've been with the Seekers for a while. He's doing well enough, I would presume. She... She tucked the folder? Yeah. I don't know what that means. <laughs> you know, like, poking or, you know, like... Folder daddy. <laughs> you know, like, it's, uh, it's, it's near them and she sort of, like, prods or pokes at it before mm. she... Like, it's, it's close enough that she can sort of touch it uh, on a whim I'm not sure I'm not sure talked is a word I don't think it is it is now <laughs> <laughs> okay we're making a word I see <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and mother Jewel sighed no vague half truth would get her out of this one I have no idea sorry I hardly remember her at all she wasn't around much even when I was little I was told one day she just took off. Jewel readied herself for an awkward con. con Jewel, readied <laughs> Jewel readied herself for an awkward consolation routine, but Fortune showed no anguish. Huh? He frowned. That's odd. How do you mean? Back when, before, she was running the Harper Corps security force. She was quite proud about it too. Still surprised by his reaction, Jewel shrugged. People change. Maybe Fortune cut her off. No, not her. Not like this. I, well, there were some stories going around. Things I was never meant to hear. How she'd gone after people who were out to hurt Daddy. The things she'd done to them. He shook his head. Leaving you behind would go against everything that she stood for. Everything she'd fought for. There's more to it. There's got to be. Jewel rubbed her forehead. This was way more family talk than she could take in one sitting. Uh, anything's possible, I suppose. She shrugged again. I'm not much help with this, I'm afraid. Oh, of course. Fortune busied himself with his, his food pack. Sorry, I got carried away there. <laughs> All the awkward! <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, uh... In this uh, whole sequence, I need to uh, get uh, go over all the sentences and sort of see where I can trim and tuck a little bit and uh, and uh, do some word changes. Harper Corp mm -hmm. will become Harper House or House Harper. Harper House. Uh, this was way more family talk, so I might, I'm, I want to make it shorter. There's more to it. There has to be. So yeah, uh, it's it's mostly mostly where I want it, but need to.
to need to um, fine tune it. I'm pretty sure all the trusted readers will pick up on the talk as well. <laughs> 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 but it's like it's like it's 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 one of those expressions where the sound will tell you what's happening. Like <laughs> like I have this box here and I'm like you know. Yeah. <laughs> I could, I could always say that it is a loan word from Estonian. <laughs> <laughs> if you can pull it off, power to you. <laughs> I, uh, I will send it to the trusted readers and see what they say. Yeah. Place Marshall Wing with Business Wing. Okay. In the last, oh no, not the last set. I think in the first set of chapters we sent out, one of the trusted readers had to look up the word hubris because she'd never heard it before. She'd never. <laughs> so I thought that was kind of interesting. Hubris is just one of those words that I tend to throw about, like, whatever, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Continue? Yep. I'm going down to laughter, all right? Okay. Or, or, or I'll go to moment, and then we'll wrap it up. Let's see. Uh, Jewel waited quietly until he was done eating. Misplaced memory fragments were stirring in her mind. Dubious minutia, she'd never given much thought. How in her childhood she had sometimes found their family's compound, their family compound's business wing locked up, so that she couldn't even access her training rooms, and how afterwards she'd find little gifts among her equipment. When she'd show, when she'd show these to Maxis, he would smile with unusual warmth, then quickly turn away or excuse himself. She decided she'd better tell Fortune about those memories, just not this very moment. Instead, she filled him in about the shuttle's limitations and helped to set things up for maximum comfort during stasis. Even though you weren't technically supposed to be living or feeling while under, her personal experience told her that going in relaxed made for a better waking experience. She had given all her... She had given all the best instructions and was standing outside stasis pod 2, Fortune's oversized justice rags hanging over her arm. Struggling to come up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Fortune's oversized justice rags hanging over her arm, struggling to come up with some words of reassurance before the lights out. Hey, you seem to know how to work this whole family stuff. What are you supposed to say when tucking in long lost siblings? Fortune grinned. Don't ask me. I grew up an only child. Me too. That guy's cracked up. Jewel hit the pod's manual activation and watched the strobing flashes trap a slice of time along with her brother's laughter. She grabbed her jacket and curled up in the control seat. There was a lot to do. Loose objects to clean up, destinations and waypoints to chart, transit to set up, wake-ups to schedule. She would get to all that. Soon. For now, she wanted a quiet moment to catch her breath, and she needed to think. Okay, so... All in all, uh, the uh, the part uh, before <coughs> the last little paragraph. Mm -hmm. I think I just basically I just need to combat a little bit. Uh, it's it's a little bit feels a little bit stumbly. to work or I just need to massage certain mm. elements here uh -huh. uh, business wing okay 
and I think I wanted to, or at least had an idea to maybe provide a little list of the items that she had found. Like th a dagger, uh, a little spaceship, a, a galaxy in a ball, I don't know, <laughs> some, some sort of trinkets. In, okay, uh, in Forgotten City, there's a snow globe. Replace that with galaxy in a in a ball because I like that mm -hmm. a lot more. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a note of that real quick because I thought I was being real clever. So like, oh look, there's a snow globe. <laughs> That's an obvious reference to you know what. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's weak sauce. I much prefer galaxy in a in a ball. <laughs> Which in turn totally works as a reference to Men in Black, I just realized. <laughs> <laughs> or Iron's Belt. <laughs> it's on the cat collar. Oh. That was a weird film, man. <laughs> I enjoyed it, but it was still strange. <laughs> okay, uh, she decided she'd better tell Fortune about those memories, just not this very moment. Again, info is okay, but it feels very sort of yeah. <laughs> so I will I will try what happens if I make it uh, a, an inner fort. It's like. I should tell him soon. <laughs> mm. Pardon me. I've got the wi windy pops tonight. Ooh. I apologise to all our viewers. <laughs> okay, uh, but we have actually come to the end of chapter twelve, so I can cut the recording. For now. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. <laughs>